This is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the quad again. Only this time without the outside plates. We're going to try the same test that we did the last test only without the outside plates. And now I'm doing this in a two-thirds system. Same type that I've been experimenting with before. Got four of these plates on one electrode, four of these on the other, and all the rest on the other electrodes. So what I'm going to do is tie these four plates with these and make this the positive and all the others the negative. Also, since it's the quad, the inside plate, or this plate here, is much narrower and it doesn't go to the end. So we'll see what happens when we compare the difference between this and what the last test was. Okay, we've got the plates in the tube and we're going to put hook the system up here. Explosion. Pardon the word. That's the Aaron cell. Incredible amount of hydrogen comes out of that. This is the two thirds system. If you look at the two yellow, uh, two green uh, probes there, cables, whatever you want to call them, they're going to negative, and the red one is going to positive. There's absolutely no question that rigging the system up so the two thirds negative and one positive is the answer. To most people's dreams. Let's try it again. I'll get a closer look at this. Actually, let's bring it back a little bit. Start it up. That's the Aaron cell. 15 plate system that's 3 inches across the plate by 6 inches down. They're 15 plates. 0 0.028. Then you can see it's doing very well. Let's take that off for a minute. What we're going to do is take a closer look once I get the air clear in here. I don't know why this is doing what it's doing and I know we'll get plenty of emails to the answer. But until you do your own experiments, conjecture is nice. Okay, let me get back here, take a closer look at it, see what we can do. Remember the red is positive, the two greens negative. The green goes all the way in the back across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cells, seven plates. This, this side here is going across four, and there's only four plates that are negative. I'm sorry, this is four plates positive. 
four plates negative over here and all the rest on the other side are negative. Set it up again. Start it now. It is tremendous amount of hydrogen being produced here. I know I'm going to get a few emails, so why don't you measure it? Why don't you measure it? You can make your own. Make me wrong. That's what science is about. Prove me wrong. If you think it's not producing a lot, then prove me wrong. You do it. I'm showing you my results. The Aaron cell is producing a lot of hydrogen gas. And it's my conjecture, my opinion, that it's producing just as much hydrogen gas as the cells that you see using a pulse system. And no less, no more. When you use a pulse system, you bring the amperage down because you're pulsing it. It's getting less amperage, it's getting less voltage. The question is whether or not you're getting the same out. If I pulse this system at the right frequencies, it's going to look the same, but it's not going to be the same. Anyway, that's my opinion. All opinions are relevant until you prove them wrong. Do it. Prove me wrong. This is the Aaron cell we're looking at here. And let's see if I can get you a better look at it. We'll look at it from a different angle. There's a good one. No. This is from the back. You can see the two electrodes here. Set it up. Incredible amount of hydrogen coming out of there. Don't waste your time sending me an email telling me that it's not measured so it's not worth anything. Because all I do is delete it. If you want to critique my work, fine. If you have your own to show me that I'm wrong, that's even better. Otherwise, it just gets deleted, you know? I think this is a good, uh, this is a real good sell. This is only three by six.